Today, because of our commitment to you and subscription boxes, we're going to sacrifice ourselves and eat some delicious treats. Let's get to it. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. So yeah, feel pity for us. This is going to be a rough one. <laughs> Can't eat a bunch of delicious food. And I do mean delicious. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right, so today, Ken Tastic Cakes. Yes. The friggin' cake subscription. Yes, it's a cake subscription. I mean, need we say more? <laughs> Video description. Go find the link. Order yours now. <laughs> cake. Hello. Cake. Yes. Uh, this subscription is at thirty-five dollars monthly. You can prepay for the whole year. It is awesome. They have a cool uh, college plan. Yes, they do. They kind of run through the course of college. They take a break for December and then finishes it up. I think it ends in like. March or April when college gets out. So if you want to yeah. treat your college uh, children out there <laughs> for a taste of home. I like yes. how it's a taste of home. My home never tasted like this. Sorry, Mom. Love you. Bye. <laughs> so it usually comes with one large slice of cake, usually some cake pops and cookies or freshly baked something or another that treat that he will go ahead and make, which is amazing. Now, last month, he set the bar like amazingly high. <laughs> I did notice they have this attention. Yes. Due to the high temperatures of the season, any chocolate within this box may have softened. Uh, this is something he had actually told us just mm -hmm. personally, but now I like he's got it on there. Yes. It's highly recommended that this whole box be refrigerated for one hour to allow the chocolate to reset. Yes. Which we did for more than an hour, but whatever. Surprisingly enough, in Texas here, it hasn't even reached 100 degrees. Yeah, it's freaking hot though. Yes, it is hot. All right. All right. Taste the home, July 2019. So, right. Oh boy, what's that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that did have a little bit of problem in the heat, it looks like. That still looks edible. I will eat that though. That is probably a cereal treat cupcake. <laughs> what? what? Cereal treat cupcake that's uh, melted a little bit, but I'm I don't okay care. With that. It doesn't look very pretty, but it looks delicious. So that is rice cereal, marshmallow, milk, chocolate, MMs, and butter. <laughs> Let's see. Cake it's pops. Melted a little. I'm okay I'm with that. I'm surprised this stuff melted too. It must have sat in the truck for a while because you were home when it was delivered. I was, yeah. All right. So cake pops. Those are crunchy PB cupcake pops. Ooh. It's peanut butter jelly time. Not There's jelly. There's no butter. jelly in there. It's a song. Oh, cookies. Classic I love that these. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Yes. They go great with our milk here today. I can smell. And the piece de resistance, banana walnut cake. You had me at banana. I love banana. Can you mm, smell it? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to try and do these yes. things justice and take some pictures. It did kind of melt in our Texas heat, but we're going to do our best. And uh, so you can get an up close shot of what we're eating yes. and be super jealous of this. <laughs> Especially this. So give us a minute, we'll take some pictures, and we'll come back, taste test it, and let you know how it all tastes. Yes. Be right back. <laughs> all right, so we got our pictures taken, and uh, yeah, it was really hard not to just start diving in. Mm -hmm. It always is. Yes. Uh, the chocolate stuff, I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. Mm -hmm. It looks like um, our son Theo made it. <laughs> He's three. <laughs> um, I'm sure it looked yeah, amazing when Ken first made it, but then the heat of Texas got to it, and yes. The taste, I'm sure, there. Um, we're gonna go into this uh, cupcake. This, okay. What did he call it again? The cereal bar? Cereal, no, cereal cupcake. Yes. Cereal treat cupcake, we yes. call it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cute. All right. So basically, you got a Rice Krispie treat. In the shape of a cupcake. In the shape of a cupcake with chocolate and M&Ms on it. Uh-huh. Cheers. <laughs> I love Rice Krispie Treats. Uh huh. That's a killer Rice Krispie Treat with the chocolate on top. Mm hmm. Wow. Never beats homemade. Mm. Hitting the classics. Last month, he nailed the classics. He had the chocolate cake and everything. Mm hmm. Chocolate chip cookies. Rice Krispie Treats. That's another classic you can't go wrong with. Seriously. Sure, Mm. We have more to eat, honey. 
Okay. No wine today. Milk. Milk. That's really good. That is really good. Okay. I got a little bit of this chocolate on my hand mm -hmm. when I was doing it, and I kind of licked it off. I want to eat that next. You want to eat that next? Yes. They, they're not really sticking to the sticks very well. They kind of are. Oh, okay. Just go like that, though. <laughs> There you go. That's a good idea. I guess I could just eat off yours because I know you're not going to finish it. Mmm. Okay. I love peanut butter. So, pig bowls are good. They're just not my favorite things. He loves them. I love pig bowls. <laughs> mm. But I'm also one of those. I love cake. I don't like icing. She's weird like that. <laughs> it's just me. Mm, that definitely needs some milk, but. That's good though. That is really good. Mm. It's got that really good peanut butter taste to it. And it's, it's not dry and it's not that weird pasty yeah. taste. That's really good. I like that one. Okay, so we work our way this way to the oatmeal chocolate chip Yes, I would now. like to save my cake for last. <laughs> How about we split one? <laughs> You get the little piece. <laughs> I get the little piece? Yeah. You never finish anything anyways. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Right there are the top oatmeal raisin cookies I've ever had. Mm-hmm. That's usually my thing I go for too is the oatmeal raisin cookies. I love, I don't like raisins, Literally, this is the only thing I will eat raisins in. I listen to, a, I'm a huge sports fan, of course. And living in Texas, I'm a Cubs fan. So I can listen to them online in my car, mm -hmm. which is great. I love living in the future. <laughs> and uh, they were on Chicago Sports Talk, and there was this big debate over, like, what the best cookie is. Mm -hmm. And there was all this debate that oatmeal chocolate chip is the best. Yeah, I can go with that. They're complaining that. about raisins in your oatmeal cookie. But they're good. It's good, but chocolate chips seem better. Because they always have like this tart. Hint, hint, Ken. <laughs> if you want to show like me an oatmeal chocolate chip <laughs> cookie. This is really good. I, like this is right there at the very top of oatmeal raisin cookies. Now I want to see what he's got with an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. mm. I like that one a lot. There's problems everywhere right now. Mm. It's fine. We only have to film a few more. Cleanse the palate. <laughs> yeah. And cake. I want as much frosting as I can get. How do I just like... Like that? Sure, sure. I'll go right here. I'll go right here. Kinda, yeah. There we go. Look at all that. Cheers. God. That banana flavor. I'm in heaven. It's so good. Mm. It's not overpowering. It's just subtle enough. That it's that perfect balance of banana, and then you get the walnut mixed in there. Mm. One of my favorite things is banana bread, and then you're putting it with cake. Totally the different icing. texture, by the way. Mm. The icing is like a. I love the way he does icing, by the way. Yeah, he does amazing. Like icing. it's 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 never overly sweet, and it yeah. always melts in your mouth. He's amazing when it comes to making icing, and never has like that sh that gritty sugary. Mm -hmm. You know how sometimes you can have that buttercream and it has that sugary that grit in yeah. it. His is never like that. No. His is amazing. Ken. Mm -hmm. You gotta put the icing in a jar and sell it. <laughs> You'd make a fortune. <laughs> so good. Mm. Mm. It doesn't hit the, the the high note that last month hit. This is awesome. This is my month, fam. This I... is your month. It was a good month. To me, last month was like. <sighs> I could have died right there in that moment and been like, 
oh, the chocolate cake <laughs> and the chocolate chip cookies and the s'mores. But you love s'mores, but I like things like this. Like this cake is amazing. What was your favorite thing on this plate today? The cake. The cake? Yes. The cake was my absolute favorite. I love it. I gotta say, I really like the oatmeal raisin cookie. The flavor is awesome. Yes. yes but the flavor in that oatmeal raisin. Like this yeah. is good too. It's hard to pick, but. Well, I know, but like we have different palettes. This is my favorite. <laughs> It's really hard to top that bacon. Have you bourbon. tried Kentastic yet? I know a lot of you have been telling us down in the comments you were checking it out. Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear how many of you got this right here. What was your favorite piece? Oh my gosh. Hit us up down in the comments. I want to know. Don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends. If you haven't already done so, I'm going to give you a link boop, right there to subscribe. And right over here is our last unboxing of Kentastic Cakes. And on this side, you got our most recent episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.